When a vehicle gets old, one of the parts in the engine compartment that can fail is the battery bracket. Lead acid batteries are filled with sulfuric acid that can leak corrosive gas and this is what corrodes and eventually causes the battery bracket to fail. Batteries are heavy and a loose battery knocking around in the engine compartment can only lead to further problems. Therefore it's important to keep a battery tightly secured so it doesn't move around. Here we have Tech Team's number 883 battery hold down bracket. And this is pretty much how it's going to look when you take it out of the package. This is not the way it goes together when it fits on your battery. First thing you need to do is to disconnect the J bolts from the bracket. Just spin off the wing nuts, take your washers off, and pull the bolt out of the bracket. The bracket is adjustable, and that can range from uh, 6 and 5 eighths inches up to 9 and a quarter inches corner of the battery fits right into this part of the bracket, not here. The bracket has a rust and corrosion preventive black epoxy finish. The J-bolts are 8 millimeter diameter and they're zinc plated steel. Each one is 11 inches long and it has 3 and 3 quarter inches of M8 by 1.25 thread. Different makes and models of vehicles have different battery holders or trays. Before buying a replacement battery hold down bracket like this, it's a good idea to take a good close look at the battery tray that's in your vehicle. The bracket part of our set can easily adjust to fit just about any size battery. Same thing with the J bolts, they're long enough to fit just about any size battery. The thing you have to pay attention to is exactly how the hook end of the J bolt is going to go either through or around the existing battery tray. Some battery trays will have slots or holes and it's relatively easy to see where and how this will fit. In some applications you may find that it's easiest for the hook to go underneath the outside edge of the battery tray. Also there may be some applications where it may be necessary to drill a hole or two so that the hook end of the J-bolt can get good secure purchase. At this point we'd like to suggest that the last step in your installation process should be adjusting the width and tightening down this wing nut. That way you have the flexibility of being able to move the bracket around so it's easier to engage the J-bolts. Once you have your J-bolt hooked under your battery tray, you put the bracket over it, then you put on your flat washer, then your lock washer, then you thread on the wing nut and tighten it down and you're good to go.